things and uh, you know, still hunting for more squirrels. It's because these dogs don't know to bark or even tree a squirrel. So when they in the squirrels, they hear something, they hide. So if you got a good dog, it barks and it'll circle that tree and let you know that one's there. These are just sort of small around, keep trucking. As you can know, I let Terry get ahead a couple times uh, so that we'd have an opportunity to maybe stop and listen to see if we would see anything without the dogs chasing it off. And this also gave Terry a little bit of time to train the dogs and maybe jump something up for the first time. It was way too beautiful and it was enjoyable just to take a few minutes just to sit and relax. Probably the best area to cross right there, Bob. Go ahead, you can cross over. Just try to stay on the grass if you can. That's kind of deep right there. Um, I would say probably right here and then straight across. It's probably the least, and then try to step on the green. At this point of the trip, Ozzy was starting to get a little bit drained and tired. He said that his legs are a lot shorter than ours, so our 100 steps equals 1,000 to him. <laughs> At this point, Terry had suggested us uh, going in different directions. This would give Isaac some time to take a break, and his legs were getting sore, and Terry could take the dogs up and see if they could jump anything. So, we're going to, Isaac's going to try to sit quietly for a little while, and we'll just see if anything pops up. And, uh, okay. it's a real pretty morning, it's so. Uh, we're afraid of dogs. The dogs are still learning, so they'll chase everything off. So. Yeah. But uh, I think if we sit quietly for a little while, something will. Yeah. Today is February 27th. It's a pretty cool morning. Real pretty, about. 45 when we started out, 7.30 this morning, and uh, 
We're gonna sit up here in these woods and just see in these hardwoods and see if anything. The squirrel pops up. The creek's down there. It's real pretty. But Isaac's hoping to get that first squirrel underneath his belt. So, all right, let's see what we can do. Either way, it's a beautiful. Start a gunshot go off. So we're thinking Terry must maybe caught a squirrel. He's trying to get the dogs train. As soon as we sat down, we heard of something. So he's he's up there. He's way up there with the dogs running. Since Terry was alone, he wasn't able to film the actual shooting of the squirrel, trying to aim and be by himself. Uh, that's just footage that we were not able to get um, because of the situation. Oscar was the one that ended up jumping the squirrel and, and chasing it and um, it falling off the tree. Hey boy, give me that squirrel. That's my squirrel. Give me my squirrel, boy. That's mine. Hey, boy. Uh, 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 uh. It's mine. Mine. Or maybe not. Did y'all get a squirrel? Did you get one? Good boy. Ah, come here, boy. Come on. Oscar, my squirrel. That's my squirrel. Come here. Come here, boy. You gotta love the mountain vice. They're pretty hysterical. Good girl. Good girl, Willa. Hunting is just part of the adventure in the woods. I really enjoy just getting away from the chaotic world that we live in and enjoying God's presence and peace in the stillness of the woods. Um, that's just part of the experience for me. At this point, I think Isaac was getting pretty tired. We had we had walked quite a bit and stopped quite a few different times and really having no luck. And I think he pretty much settled in his mind that the dogs had chased everything off in the woods. So I gave him a few minutes before we decided to just get up and move. We didn't have much luck, y'all. We uh, we walked around for a while looking, and I'm not sure if it's the dog just running in circles, maybe scaring stuff off, but we never did see anything. I'm freezing. And he's freezing. He's wearing my jacket. So we're going to head back to the truck, because I guess Terry's already done, because we heard a, the honk go off. So here we go. Where are you going? You coming to see us? It's a baby. You look like you're rolling some stuff. Oscar's 11 months old. He is Isaac's mountain feist. Yeah? I don't want to know my, my work jacket, Bubby. Hey, Willow. Yeah, Oscar uh, took off running. I didn't need to save the squirrel. But it was in some uh, briars and stuff. Uh huh. He took off running. And I said, they must jump the red. So I started looking through there, and uh, the squirrel was running up the tree. Oh, uh, did, he, did he get to the tree that was on? No, he, he ran past it. Oh, okay. Is that a squirrel? 
Yep, yeah, Dad got the scroll. Right under. See, look right here in front of you. Hey, and you just go up, and you see them leaves way up there in that fork. Still black. Good. Come on, girl. Get over here, girl. You don't see it now? Get in the leaves or to the left of the leaves a little bit. In the left side of the leaves, either way. You got a bullet in there? Yeah, I already put a bullet in for him. Hey, I don't, I don't see nothing go out. I might shoot in it too, just to see. She's probably getting a little bit cold. What you want to do is, is make sure you don't run through the bars with that scope. She's like, it's a little bit wet. I'm cold. I'm wet. Oscar, are you ready? She's got a scratch on her leg and one of the bars got a full touch of time. Oh, yeah, her foot's. Oh, that's just her little feet. Good girl. You ready to go up and get some rest? I got some chicken up there for you. Okay. Okay. All right. I think that hurt for Willow. It probably did. Those briars hurt. They cut you. You know how it is. Yes, I do. Because I caught, I got caught like... I got a couple on my legs. I got caught five times by the same bar. I got loose, and it got me again. I got loose, it got me again. I got loose, I got... Alright, Dad's going to help you over there. Uh, is that safe? Yeah. Just hold your gun. No, I'll just go right here. Thank you. Me and Ozzy got way back in yonder. We did look for sheds while we were walking. Didn't see. Yeah, probably the pines. Oscar's like, whew, I'm tired. Here, I'll take you. Oh, he's got a bone. I'll take your gun. Where's your scope covers? It's in my pocket. You have them that way. Keep that scope crisp and clean when you're looking through it. Yeah, Oh, I see you what to get. He knows this stuff. Good boy. Uh -uh. Come here, boy. Come on. My scar. My squirrel. I didn't think get his first squirrel as he had hoped. But as parents, we must always remember the most important part is getting our children outside and letting them enjoy the experience. They're going to make noise on their first hunt. They're probably going to get tired a whole lot easier. But the most important thing for them to remember is when the day is finished, that they had a great time making memories with mom and dad.